Before this job, I worked in academia, which was fantastic in terms of being very interesting and being at the cutting edge of things. I could see that to really progress in academia, I would have to be willing to move geographically and often be on quite short term contracts. And with a family, that's a really big ask. Um, the thing that I didn't want to do is to have a second tier career where I was only taking the contracts that would work for me geographically that just didn't feel that happy. And also the the downside of academia is that it takes such a long time to find out if you've done a good job. You have to wait decades before you get that payoff. Um, and by comparison in technology, you can see the what you've made. You can see it in a really short period of time, whether it's a, whether it's a good product or not, you get that really fast feedback. Um, so I was at this junction in my life. The other option on the table was teaching. And I did some voluntary, uh, not voluntary, I did some uh, enrichment teaching um, where I was going into schools and doing some small group um, extension maths teaching. And I loved working with the children, but I discovered what all teachers tell you, that the paperwork is excruciating. And the other irony that I can never get my head around is Teaching is actually really hard with a family because you physically have to be there. There really is very little flex that even the most sympathetic head teacher can give you when fundamentally the role is about being present in front of the class. And it directly clashes with a lot of the times when my own children might be having extra needs like exam periods, for example. Um, and the third option was tech. Um, I had programmed a little bit during my PhD, but I'm not a computer sciences graduate. I'm a maths graduate. Um, it did give me that sense of, of power, I guess, to be able to make things to solve the problems that I saw. And my origin story had a lot to do with watching how my children interacted with technology. In particular, one of my kids was very speech delayed and watching the impact that a well-designed piece of software would make for her was very powerful. Um, and so I, I kind of got the bug through that. My original aim wasn't to get a job. My original aim was to write the software that I wish existed, which is how I ended up in mobile apps development because I wanted, I wanted that kick of actually making a product to solve an actual problem that, that I had. Um, and I, I guess things just followed on the, the longer I stayed, the more comfortable I got, the, the more good things came my way. Um, and it became clear that it was the career that ticked all of my boxes, that it had the exciting problems to solve. It had the intellectual challenge. It had that real world relevance where you, you felt that you were actually making a difference. Um, Remote working is very normal in tech, even before the pandemic. Um, it really wasn't a big deal for people to be working from home some of the time. And um, that is obviously a really big, big deal. Um, uh, tech pays well. Um, and the other thing about having children is that they're ruinously expensive. And um, I've been through a period of my life where my husband has been the major earner and I've had less pressure on earning, which is obviously good with children, but um, it doesn't sit easy with me not being able to to step up to support the family, to have us like trapped in those roles where he can't take any of the pressure off from him. And equally, I can't step back from the caring responsibilities. So, so um, yeah, being able to attract a good salary is also a helpful thing. Um, so, I mean, it was just win, 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 good work, good conditions, good money. <laughs>